Okay, I've been asked to test the new Samsung 8 gigabyte micro SD card, which is a HD compliant class 4 card. Now, if you know these, these are the ones that are used in mobile phones, um, but they also come with an, an adapter so you can use them in your cameras. They're very, very small cards, and apparently this one is indestructible, so they've asked me to, to try and destroy it. Um, it's basically waterproof, shockproof, and magnet proof. So I'm going to, first of all, use it in the Contour HD, which is a HD uh, helmet camera. And I'm also going to use it with the adapter in the Panasonic FZ38. I'm going to take some photos and some footage to see how it kind of uh, works with those pieces of equipment. But then I'm going to actually see if I can destroy it, put it underwater, bounce it around on a ball, that kind of thing. So let's see if I can actually destroy this card. Okay, so here we are using the SD card on uh, SD mode on the Contour HD, which is around 840 odd pixels by something else or other but it records at 60 frames a second so that'll put the card to, to quite a good test to see if it works don't know if you can see this but it's actually peeing down with rain uh, so the contour is getting wet which is kind of weatherproof um, we're going to get the card wet a bit later as well we're now going to switch to hd uh, 10 uh, sorry 720 to see if that works as well so here we are now on hd mode i'm standing under a tree because it really is raining but we're now on 720p on the contour hd uh, everything seems to be fine card seems to be working well but we'll check it on the computer in a minute so by the time you're watching this I'll have rendered it and actually checked it so we'll see if that works next test is we're going to put it onto the or the card into the adapter and then put it into the Panasonic FZ38 to see if that works on uh, HD video as well as some maybe fast frame shots see you in a minute okay we're now filming on the uh, Panasonic Lumix FZ38 in high definition which again is 720p the SD card or the micro SD card is now in the SD card adapter to actually fit the camera. So I'm hoping this is now working, I'm assuming it is. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is take a few photos of various bits and pieces around here just to get some things recorded onto the card. And then we're gonna to go to the fun bit of this review. I'm actually gonna try and see if it, one, is waterproof. Secondly, to see if it is quite robust and destructible. Indestructible, sorry. Um, I haven't got any magnets, but it's, uh, I'm going to assume that it's uh, magnetic proof, so it's good for things like airport uh, security, things like that. So I'm going to take a couple of photos now, get the card loaded up, have a look at them, and then we'll do the fun part of the test. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we know that the little card here, the 8GB Samsung uh, micro SD card, records okay using HD video and photographs which I pretty much expected it would. But now we've got the next part of the test, which is the kind of destruction test. First of all, we're going to use some water. I'm just going to drop the card into the water, swirl it around a bit, and then see if we can get the photos off it. So here we go. This is the card. In we go. Plop. Let's give it a bit of a stir, just to show that it is completely waterproof. And we're going to take it out now and dry it off. And then we're going to pop it into the machine and just make sure that all the photos and videos that we've taken so far are still on the card. Okay so here we are, the card is now loaded onto the computer and we'll go into the files and make sure they're all still there. There we go, there's the uh, first bit of video that we recorded. That one's okay, I know that one will be okay, let's go to the Panasonic. There's all the photos, they're all still there. And now we'll go to the latest video we shot outside. Playlist, no, we'll go to stream. And there we are. So all the photos and videos, everything still works. Okay, we're now filming um, on it's the been dumped uh, in water, so we've now passed, we know it's passed that first part of the test. So the last part of the test is gonna be to see how tough the card is. We're now gonna strap it to a football, have a bit of a kick about, and just see if it uh, stands up to the the rigorous testing of being kicked against the wall. Okay, the card is now sellotaped to the ball, as you can see there, or maybe not. There it is, it's sellotaped to a very wet ball. So we're gonna give it all the tests now and see just how good this card is. Ouch. enough let's go and check it out well here we are just loaded the photos in or sorry the, the the media card and lo and behold everything's still there 
that's working fine let's have a look at the other ones I think the photos are still there yeah photos are all still there let's have a look at the other video yep still there everything's working okay, absolutely perfectly the, it's done absolutely uh, no damage to the card whatsoever from dunking it in the water to kicking it about on concrete the with a football the uh, the I think I'll just try one more thing Thank mm -hmm. you.